The popularity of web comics has gone through the roof in recent years, and now film producers are looking to replicate the story's online success on the big screen with a box office smash. To tell us more about the trend, our culture correspondent Park ji joins us now. Hello, ji -won. Hi, guys. Well, there is a survey that one in three Koreans are reading comics, web comics these days, and with the popularity rising, these web comics are becoming an inspiration to the nation's like film industry. Just in the first six months of this year alone, well, several movies based on web comics have been released. Let's take a look. Kuk Jung Nog is a famous webtoon artist currently publishing web comics on Korean web portal Naver every Monday and Wednesday. As soon as we upload a new episode, thousands of comments are posted right away. As an artist, I feel good and alive that so many people are watching what I do. Each episode of his webtoon racks up around 1.5 million views. However, he says his popularity is common for a webtoon published at the web portal. The web portal through which my webtoon has been published is one of Korea's most powerful and most visited websites. And the web portal's power has a lot to do with its popularity. Over the past few years, the number of web comics published through major web portals like Taum or Naver has skyrocketed. Korean action comedy Secretly Greatly, which was released earlier this month, has sold over 6 million tickets in just three weeks since its opening. The film is based on one of the most popular web comics in Korea. Secretly Greatly is not alone. Several other web comic based movies have been released so far this year. Coming up next month is Mr. Go, a Korean blockbuster about a baseball playing gorilla. This movie is based on the work of Korean comics legend Ha Young Man. The film is already gaining a lot of attention from fans of Ha's work. Well, since the late 2000s, we've really seen a pickup of tunes going onto the big screen. What really sparked this trend, though? Well, for that, I've talked with some experts, and they say that these webtoons' popularity are already publicly proven with millions of viewers. So I guess it's a safe uh, investment by the film industry. Let's take a look. The popularity of some webtoons are already publicly proven, so they are considered a very safe bet by film producers. As web portals are used by people of all ages, webtoons are also consumed by full range of generations. That's why it's easier to adapt them into films that appear to all age groups. Lee jong yu wrote the popular webcomic Fist of Legend. His comic was adapted into a film last year by renowned director Kang Woo In the comic industry, the artists have more creative control as the production process involves a small number of people and the production cost is relatively small. This freedom allows them to come up with more creative stories and characters. This, in turn, inspires other genres and boosts the quality of the nation's content industry as a whole. Well, Juan, this trend appears to be in line with President Park's drive to boost the nation's content industry. How's the government responding to this trend? So, government is obviously welcomes the trend because this content industry can boost the nation's um, uh, econo economy, and it can be also expand uh, content industry and making a lot of jobs for the nation's young people. So, let's take a look what happened earlier this week. Earlier this week, the Culture Ministry and the Korea Creative Contents Agency co-hosted an event attended by over 100 creative professionals from various fields. They will mentor hundreds of young, talented people over the next six months, while the government will financially support them over the period. This is one of the initiatives the government has taken to boost the nation's content industry, particularly the storytelling industry. And the comics and the web cartoons industry is one of the key contents of the creative industry.
The culture ministry recently announced measures to boost the comics industry and launch a concrete five-year plan in the second half of this year. Web comics and comics are playing a positive role in expanding the content industry by inspiring other aspects of the creative industry. As the content value of comics is very high with its powerful storytelling, the government wants to help the comic industry flourish further. We have allocated 8 million U.S. dollars in funds to the comic industry this year. That's more than double the amount of funding we gave two years ago. Well, I'm a huge fan of Webtoons as well, and it looks like comics and Webtoons will stay at the center of the content industry for many, many years to come. Right, and I have yet to pick one up, but thanks so much for your report, Jiwon. My pleasure.